Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I am just kind of coming up with ways to get this automated a bit better. And uh, a couple things I was thinking of was, you know, doing a whole bunch of fluid solidifiers, one for each of those. Um, one for like each of the, the nuggets that we're getting. So one for like tin, one for copper, one for gold, but yeah, that's kind of boring. I've done that a few times with different uh, things. So I thought, why don't we go ahead and try out the buffers to see um, how that works. And I did a little bit of testing. I'm not a whole, I'm not great at these things yet, but I think I've kind of figured out how it works. Now I think, I'm not entirely sure like what the different tiers are. I think since they need power, it just kind of tells you like which tier you can feed it. So like obviously if we're doing an ultra low, I can't hook it up to like an IV, it'll explode, I'm guessing. Um, I don't know if they have different speeds. It doesn't say anything about like the speed. Um, and I didn't test out the different tiers. I just tested out one. Uh, tier and it seemed to work. So um, this is IV. So I figure why not just go ahead and craft an IV one because um, that's the easiest to hook it up. And I think we got everything here. Let's take a look at the recipe. I'm just going to do this one. There are a high voltage one that does 256. So I think we'll just do a regular one. I don't think we need anything better than that. So I just need a chest and a circuit. So let's go get the chest done here. And I need, do need another circuit. I don't have any circuits, but I think that yeah, we're still crafting up all the tungsten steel. Oh, that's already done. So haven't got round to getting more crafting computers. Maybe one day I will <laughs> get around to that. I haven't really... A couple times I've been kind of having to wait for one to finish, but for the most part, it hasn't been too big of an issue. Um, so there we go. Now, I think was... Was it... Chest, IV machine hall... And the conveyor. Yep, there we go. So there is the insane voltage chest buffer. And I think I need a capacity card. Do I have any? No. But we do, we'll do two for the, the thing. And then platinum, I need a couple cables. Why don't we just, I'll throw these in manually. All right. Oh, I already had a bunch. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, well. Um, okay, so I th think that'll work. I do need a nugget. Actually, I should probably get one of each, maybe. And tantalum. And then the last was the tongue state. Um, that I can use a packager for. So maybe we can look into how that works as well. All right. Um, right. So we need to, let's get, let's break this. Where did that go? I wish these things didn't fly all over the place. So I think we can just do, we'll do this. So we can put this down. And it has a, why don't we, here, let me put this down so we can kind of see. So basically it's this chest buffer and then it has an output. And I'm assuming you can just do. All right, how? All right, so the side you click on is the front. That's a bit different than like normal. That's like 
Yeah, that's opposite of usually. So like usually if I want to put it here, I put it on that side, but that changes the facing. And if I shift click, like if I shift click here, I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely a bit weird. So it's kind of opposite of what normally would do for these, but uh, let's put that there. And I already forgot. Yeah, so that, I think, if we click on the center one, it should put the, the thing to the top. Now, if we look at the input, I don't need any of these set, but this is kind of what I want set. So transfer size, add exactly this many items and destination input slots as long as there is room. I think that's the one we want. Now, hmm. All right, so one issue here is that I need to click on this with a screwdriver. And I noticed if you click on it on any side, it doesn't work. It has to be on the output side. I guess I could have maybe here. Instead of breaking that, let's do, so what was it I needed to do? I need to get the output side. There we go. So if we right click on that, we want stack size nine. Now I can't remember how I, yeah, there we go. Okay, so regulate item stack to size nine. That will only output stacks of nine. I believe. <laughs> I think that's how I did that in my test world. I'll hook that up. I need the capacity card. Actually, I think I only need one capacity card. Now that I'm thinking about it, what is stuck? Ah, right. I've been having... Oh, no, because it's doing tungsten seal. That's right. And I still haven't... Yeah. The whole, like, one circuit kind of thing is screwing it up a it. So I usually don't have the one in there, so it screws up a couple of the... It basically is the silicon recipe or any of the recipes that don't need a fluid. But if they do need a fluid, I don't want the circuit of one in there. Because then it does the more inefficient recipe. I really need two input hatches on that thing. Alright, what am I... Capacity card. I had a redstone. No. Isn't that over here? What am I out of? What is getting messed up here? Isn't it that one? Or is that the press? Trying to remember here. Is it this? No. What got stuck? Oh, did I? I bet you I. Yep, forgot to do that. We'll just send that back. It's always something super easy that I have messed up. I gotta be, I've done that so many times. I've messed up the, uh, I've turned off the auto output and screwed up my thing. All right, so let's, we'll add a, actually, I think that's enough. So we'll do tantalum, silver, copper, tin, gold. All right, so that will fill that. Oh, I definitely need an acceleration card. That's for sure. Maybe even two. Yeah, I don't have platinum. I don't have platinum set up for a auto craft. All right, 
So that is inputting. It's not super slow, but uh, it's definitely faster. It's too slow for the machine. But I think, I think we're good here. If I just add one thing here, I think we're good. Let's just <laughs> double check. This is insane voltage. This is an insane voltage wire. I don't think we'll have explosions. No. All right, so there we go. As we can see, it is outputting up to nine. Yeah, so it's only putting nine in there. So perfect. All right. That way I can do the molten tantalum here into that fluid solidifier, and it only does one ingot's worth. As long as it has one ingot's worth of the, the nugget, it'll do that. So another capacity card in here. There we go. So this should only, it should, once it gets through it, it'll be completely empty here, unless I screwed something up. How did we get? I think that's a weird amount, isn't it? I might have done it. I don't know. Here, let me break that and replace it and then see if that works. Yeah. All right. I don't know where that eight millibuckets came from because the nuggets melt down to 16. So I have no idea where that, that eight millibuckets came from. But there we go. All right, and then that should go through all the nuggets here. And we should be good with that. Let's just throw a couple acceleration cards on there and see what we get ourselves into. All right, so as we can see, the four is sitting there. It's not getting sent. Now, is this thing sending it fast enough? Yeah. All right. So we're, we are good here. All right. Let me put the rest of the uh, fluid, like the, the filters on that thing. And we should be, oh, there's where the, dang it. <laughs> let me just void that. I totally forgot that I had a cell of it. That's where the eight millibuckets came from. All right. Let me uh, cut here and we'll come back. And we are back, and I've just crafted up the advanced packager. Pretty easy uh, to get here. Now I also need a schematic here. So we're going to do the tongue state. Let's grab one of those. I'm probably going to need an export plus and a import, not a fluid, a just a regular export bus and an import bus. Oh, I only have one screwdriver, so they're both using the screwdriver. And yeah, so it's going to say I don't have one. Look at that. Amazon Warehousing Depot. That's funny. All right. I also need a schematic here, which... Just needs two stainless. So export. Stainless should come on. Oh, it's smelting up more. There it is. All right, and I have, I think I have, yeah, I got these from a, a random quest, actually. I got four of them, or not a quest. I got it from a loot bag, I think. I don't remember which one. Is this not, does this need? No? MV, stainless steel, maybe something's, oh, there it goes. Yeah, sometimes these, like, uh, 
there's like a conflict. All right, and last thing I need is, I guess, an import. So we'll get that going. Forty seconds. All right, so let's go down here, and I'm just gonna throw it kind of next to this one, I guess. This mining pipe is in the way. Oh well. This one's pretty easy to automate. still in there yeah and this just needs a screwdriver so crest four items in a two by two which is what I want for the the small dust if it was the big ones I'd do a three by three but I think this one will yeah there we go so there is the tongue state and we'll just have a dedicated one for this. I could do like a super buffer if I want to add other things to it, which maybe I will at some point. Um, import is what I need. There it is. All right, but there we go. That should be everything fully automated for that. Now I have this turned off and less, I turned it on testing it and somehow I ended up with weird amounts of fluids and I don't know how that happened. I don't know if it was just when it started up or something, I don't know. But let's see if that's working. All right, so it seems to only be sending nine through, but how was and see, I ended up with like a weird amount again, and I don't know why. Oh, no, there it goes. But see, now there's 80. I wonder if there is something. Yeah, I don't know. See, that's, it's weird, because it seems to only be sending nine at once. Is it having an issue like here, maybe? I don't know. That might be the reason. Um, all right, so it may be having problems there. Okay, so I need to craft up maybe some more fluid disks. All right, but I'll do that um, um, off camera. All right, we are back. And unfortunately, I think we have a bit of a problem here with the fluid solidifier and bless smeltery uh, setup I have here. Now the super buffer is working great. It's only putting the nine ingots in or the nine nuggets at a time. The problem I think I've run into is that the blast smelter is smelting it down so fast that fluid is getting voided. Now I tried with two output hatches and uh, it's still having a bit of a problem. I think um, before it can empty out and the fluid interface is as fast as I can do it, it just automatically outputs it. But I think before it's finished outputting, it is voiding um, because it's smelting up an another nugget. So I really don't know if this is gonna be a viable solution. I don't know if I can do anything about that because it is smelting it down so fast, other than like having this on a slower, um, not having it run IV, because if I upgrade it, it's going to go even faster. Um, I could try a third one, but there's no other, there's no other way. And the other thing is sometimes it'll have copper, like molten copper in both of them. So I don't think having a third one would even do anything. So I think, um, just by the nature of how multi-blocks work and the voiding, if there's not enough room, I don't know if this is going to work. Unfortunately, I may have to just replace it with a, a regular alloy smelter and use a super buffer 
which isn't a problem. Just kind of replace this and have it input um, the nuggets in that way. Um, but I thought it would be kind of cool if we could do it maybe that way. But uh, yeah, I'll have to kind of do some checking uh, with that. But anyway, I think it is time to possibly move on to a new thing here. And one thing I would like to do is get my coils upgraded in the uh, power substation. Now I need, if we look at this, I need 18, I have 18 of these. So I have enough helium, but I need 18 times four of those. Is that right? 18 times four, yeah. So I need 72 dense tungsten steel to do this. And I set up my thing. So I need 71 of these and hopefully I have enough. Yeah, I do have enough tungsten. So that should actually go pretty quick. Yeah, so <laughs> um, just depends how fast my this goes. But it seems to be going pretty quick. Now, the other thing is I have, if we look at the recipe, it needs to be 250 seconds per assembler recipe with the helium. So the problem is getting the power into it because once I break down my power substation, I'm not going to have any power uh, to my whole base. Um, but I think we do have a solution and that is the solar panel that we hooked up because that is IV power. So I think we can just break this and hook that directly up to the solar panel and get all my the helium. I think I need 144 of those. Is that right? So eight times 18. Yeah, 144 of those. So I need to get all of the helium out and thankfully all the helium That's 128. What do we need? 24 more of those, is that right? Hundred and twenty-eight. No. Sixteen. Math is hard. Yeah. So that'll be 144 of that. And then I will just hook the assembler directly up to the solar panel and unfortunately 250 seconds each i kind of just gotta wait for this uh to craft up i don't know if there's really any other easy solution for this um because i'm storing all my power in there um but yeah let me uh break down my thing and i'm gonna lose my a system so i can't really do much um in the meantime so let me cut here and we'll come back and there we go there is the 18 power cells um i think it took five minecraft days i had to keep sleeping as soon as the uh day was up so that uh, was a bit of a pain but it wasn't wasn't too bad anyway uh let me put this back together and we'll be back All right, I am back and I've been kind of looking at the next tier circuits. And one of the things that we're going to have to do here is create these, um, these new circuit boards. And to do that, we're going to need to put a couple new recipes in my circuit assembler here or chemical reactor. But as we can see, I'm full up here. So basically, I'm just here to add a new storage um, or a new input bus. So I'm pretty sure I can't just put a thing there. I've tried that before. And thankfully I have three, th I think three channels left on, um, three channels left on this, this line right here. I should, I know I hate that. I should probably just, Put these here really quick. I 
I know it doesn't matter because AE figures out the best way, uh, but I don't like it. All right, so if we look at the new recipes, we got the multi-layer. First, we need to get the actual multi-layer board. So I need two, oh, that's two of those. <laughs> that's a lot. Um, so let's get two of these. That equals one of those. And then we need, what was it, 16? Ooh, I don't have that recipe done yet. Ooh, I need two recipes here. That's not good. Because I'm also short on... Yeah, I'm short on channels in here too, I think. Yeah, um... All right, Micah I can probably take out because I don't use that a lot. Everything else is pretty important here. Uranium plates, I don't remember what I use those for. We'll just kind of put those aside, and if I need them, I can always throw them back in at some point. I think they take five seconds, the multi-block, to check. I think that's what it is. Could be wrong though. So one to one, and one, two, four, not five. And still haven't <laughs> named these. I should do that, but I haven't. That in there, that in there, all right. Should be able to. Okay, I only need 11, don't I? Yeah. That should work. What is. Oh, I forgot to hit it again with my soft mallet here. Yep, there it goes. I think that... Oh, that was really quick. Did it? Yeah, it did. All right. So two of those. 16 of those gets one of those. Oh, I was back in there. Um, unfortunately, I already, well, I'll test it, I guess. So let's test one of those. Let's see if that works. Yep, all right, perfect. So we got that one thing down. What else we got here? Nano, central, yeah, we already have those. We have those, we have those. Uh, then Niobian wires. We don't have these set up yet. Okay. So I'm running out of, I think I'm, I may be running out of, actually, no, I'm not. Um, the mixer I can actually get niobium, I think on that. Oh, I already have niobium. Or those, let's see. Yeah. So those are easy enough. But the last part of this um, is the this part. So this, I'm going to need a LUV precision laser engraver, and I'm also going to need a LUV um, circuit assembler here. So obviously the circuit assembler and <laughs> that explosion scared the crap out of me. Um, yeah, the circuit assembly takes a lot of components, LUV components. So I think before we start crafting all this up, I think I would like to maybe look into setting up some basic automation for the assembly line. Um, and I think we'll get into that next episode. I'm a bit out of time right now. 
Um, but um, I think I would like to eventually get Steve's factory manager. I know that's a very powerful way of automating a lot of these um, things here. So uh, in between episodes, I'm going to probably take a look at uh, Steve's factory manager, see if what kind of uh, um, what I can kind of like get into automating that or if I want to possibly do it a simpler way, um, but definitely not as powerful. Obviously, this won't work with fluids, but I may uh, be able to do a bit with Ender IO conduits and filters. So uh, in between episodes, we'll take a look at that, I think, and we'll see what we can come up with uh, for next episode. Because I would like to possibly get some of these LUV components automated uh, before we start requesting a bunch of uh, different things uh, in regards with, to uh, the crafting. What does this one look like? Yeah, same. Although the precision laser engraver, I may be able to throw my LUV energy hatch on that multi-block. So we might be able to get around having to craft that up. Yeah. But uh, we'll get into that more next episode. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a good one.